In this video, I'm going to be giving you my thoughts about the Madden 23 beta, how to go about preparing for Madden 23 over the course of the next couple of months, and some of the takeaways that we can actually begin to put into practice as we get ready for the new Madden. Some of the things that they're going to put a major emphasis on in Madden 23 so that right now you can begin preparing for the game. Every year in about June or July, EA drops a beta. They just dropped the Madden 23 beta. I'll get to that in just a second. But they all also kind of introduce new features, new concepts into the game, things that they're going to be doing differently than they did previously. And it's important to understand that if you're going to prepare for Madden 23, you have to be ready to change and shift, right? You always have to be willing and ready to change as new Maddens come in. Now, there are core principles and core concepts that will apply year over year, but there are things that are more effective in Madden 20, like for example, arm bar or running the ball. And then there's more things that are effective in Madden 21, like throwing the ball a little bit more or the double Mabel meta defense, right? There's a lot of things um, that you have to kind of keep in the back of your head as you go about preparing for new Maddens year over year. Year. And so in this video, we're going to kind of give you some of my initial thoughts about the beta. But if you are serious about Madden and you want to get ready for Madden 23, I just dropped a brand new offensive and defensive ebook over at my Patreon page um, that basically takes us back to the basics, gets us back to the foundation so that you can begin understanding how you can go about being effective in Madden 23. So if you want to get access to all of those ebooks, my Patreon link is in the description. It's only $10 to sign up and it gets you access to everything. So if you want to sign up, it'll also have all my Madden 23 ebooks there as well. We've also began working on some Madden 23 initial concepts that will carry over. So we're talking about different types of pressure concepts that are going to be effective, different formations that are going to be effective. And so if you want to get access to all that, be sure to join the Patreon. It's only $10 to sign up and there's a link down below. All right, guys, so let's take a look at some of these notes here. And I just want to give you some thoughts. I can't capture um, beta footage, unfortunately, but what I can do is I can talk about the beta and some of the experiences that I have had as well as others have had in terms of breaking down this game. So uh, let's just jump into some of the things. The first thing that I want to talk about is this pass coverage uh, logic. This is a big, big change, um, especially if you played Madden 22, right? Madden 2022 20, was the year of escape artists. And if you guys are using escape artists, I would really encourage you to take escape artists off of your players because that's not going to transfer well to Madden 23. They're putting a little bit more of an emphasis on quarterback of containing the quarterback in the pocket. There's a re, pass rush is really, really effective. At least right now, they probably will tone it down a little bit, but, it, and, and also escape artist is no longer an ability. Um, it's an X factor. Now what we need to do to activate that X factor, I think is actually going to be uh, interesting to kind of keep tabs on, but I would tell you right now, I would encourage you, I haven't used Escape Artist at all in Madden 22, and I would really encourage you to take it off because, again, it's going to help you learn how to pass from the pocket, learn how to be effective from the pocket in a game that was very easy to roll out on. Madden 23 is, and again, I want to say this real quickly, typically what Madden does is if something is overpowered in the previous Madden, not always, but generally speaking, they will tune it down and they will actually course correct in the in the next Madden. This has happened um, back in Madden uh, 2000. I want to say it was Madden 2014. They released Madden 25, and that game came out on the PlayStation 4. That's how long I've been doing content. And what I can tell you from that transition from Madden 13 on PS3 to Madden 25 on PS4. There was, a, there was a lot of significant issues. One of the major issues was the movement of the players. That is improved in this next Madden. So you're going to see that EA is going to start to tune the game back to kind of what you were experiencing. Not necessarily as arcade as it was on PS4, but certainly not as sluggish as it was on PS5 this past year. So with all of that in mind, I just want to encourage you... Uh, to take off escape artists, learn how to pass from the pocket, and also anticipate that your user will be able to cover more ground than it did this past Madden season, okay? With all that in mind, let's turn now to the pass coverage notes. Um, again, this is something that I think is a, an, an overcorrect, not necessarily an overcorrection, but it's a course correction. 
I have been very vocal and a lot of YouTubers have been very vocal about how bad pass coverage was in Madden 22. It started at the beginning of the year where you couldn't even play press coverage. They'd throw a streak right over the top and you would get bombed every single time. And it's carried on throughout the year. I have a bomb that will literally bomb every single coverage in the game every single time. There's nothing you can do other than use the route. And so the reason that I'm bringing that up is because they have taken a concerted effort to improve pass coverage and now you're going to have to use real route combinations and you're going to have to kind of think a little bit more on the offensive side of the ball a lot of pro players a lot of high level man players are excited about this because this is going to introduce um skill gap and i actually believe we're actually going to be able to count on at least maybe one or two stops a game whereas in man 23 or 22 you couldn't stop anybody like i couldn't stop the guy that just got the game today and i couldn't stop the guy that had been playing you know for the last 10 years it was very difficult to play defense right we did have some really good material on our patreon page as always with our ebooks but it was not easy to get a stop. You really had to work hard. In this next Madden, you're going to find, I'm pretty sure, that you're going to find a little bit more of an ability to consistently stop, especially if the opponent is not effective with their route combinations and they're just running random plays. This past Madden, you could run random plays, especially if you had escape artists, and it wouldn't matter. The next Madden, it's very, it's very difficult to be beat by random plays, and I actually really like that. I don't think that that should be in the game. I think people should actually have to think about what they're going to do, and so hopefully they will keep that. Sometimes they will overcorrect, right? But I don't think they're going to overcorrect this a ton. But this does bring me to my next point, which is the zones of Madden 22 or Madden 23. It says here we'll be featuring spot drop zones as our core zone coverage concept within our defensive playbook and ai this means that by default all the zone coverages in our playbooks will be strictly using spot drop zone logic and covering a specific area of the field instead of a mixture of both spot drop and match coverage like we had last year the main purpose of this change was to make the play art in the play call screen the central source of the truth for the players so that they can better predict their zone uh, their zone will react during the play. So essentially what this boils down to, and if you read a little bit further, you can actually turn match coverage back on. So it's really a, an attempt, I think, to help the beginner players. I actually really don't like this. I think this is, um, I just think this doesn't make sense to me. I think, again, they're trying to cater to a beginner player, which I understand that. But the problem that that's going to create, in my opinion, is if I want to play spot drop zone coverage, guess what I'm going to do? I'm going to set zone drops, Okay. If I want to play match coverage, I'm not going to set zone drops. There's three basic concepts of ways you can play defense in Madden. You can play man defense, you can play zone uh, spot drop zone defense, and you can play match defense. In my opinion, you're going to want to make sure that your match zone coverage concept is turned on, and then you'll still probably be able to set zone drops um, to be able to handle that. So that's just something that you want to understand. Now, this is probably the biggest point of the video, and I want to really emphasize this. Drift logic for deep zone defenders. NY Kia is one of my favorite guys to learn from in the Madden community. If you haven't checked him out, I would encourage you. I'm sure he's going to be doing a lot of videos, uh, hopefully with Madden 23. Him and Deuce Close to me are some of the most innovative uh, defensive players in the community. If you want to learn from them, they are really high level. And again, Deuce Close, it seems like he's going to take a break, but he might come back from Madden 23. We don't know yet. But what I want to hit on is this. NY Kia's issue with Madden, specifically with cover three and, and really probably with cover four drop, is the problem with the safeties is they would drift so deep in the middle of the field they'd just be backpedaling for no reason there was no route that they had to backpedal with and so what you could do is you could literally just throw post routes this is why pat sale was so effective in madden 19. this is why plays like double post from the gun bunch have been so effective in previous maddens because the deep zone defenders just drift back and this is ea's attempt to fix this now in an attempt to fix this it's also potentially possible that this could break something else but i do think with proper tuning this can be very effective so i want to hit on this paragraph real quick drift logic is an all-new coverage behavior for deep zone defenders this logic prevents deep zone defenders from drifting too far up the field without having a vertical threat in their area this will prevent those third window throws on deep crossing routes essentially this is entirely put into the game to stop crossing routes and i want to explain how this is going to be a problem in just a second drift logic allows the defender to recognize that a receiver is approaching his zone sooner 
cover him as he crosses his face and not get beat underneath. Players told us those third window crosses were completed too consistently. This new drift logic aims to address that feedback. Here's a problem. The bomb concept from Madden 22, where you streak, you have a, you have, especially from trip side in, where you have a outside receiver on a, a, a skinny post, you have a, a receiver um, on a streak, and then you have a slant, and then you might have a post coming back across. This drift logic to me could be problematic for that, and I think deep posts are going to be very effective in Madden 23. The biggest issue is going to be whether or not you can find the right post route that will continue to run once he gets in into the position. But I do think what you're going to find a lot is this is going to do much better against crossers. It's not necessarily going to do much better against post routes. So that's just something that's, a, again, a shift. I will say, and, and I think a lot of people would agree with me from playing the beta, it's really hard to, it's really hard to complete a deep crosser, especially against cover three. It's almost impossible to do that if you don't have a vertical pull route, right? Like a Y cross with that streak pulling pulling the, uh, the zone out of the way. So you're going, the, the big takeaway, and then I want to go to zone defender locomotion, but the big takeaway for me here is I would recommend learning the ins and outs of throwing deeper post routes with this. I think this is going to open up a little bit of a problem for post routes. We'll see how this all plays out once the final game comes out. But I just, I'm just saying right off the bat, I think post routes are going to be pretty decent. Now, I will say the other thing that I want to say about this, and I think this is really a big important piece, I think for right now at least, you're going to see there's going to be two primary metas um, from a defensive standpoint. You're either going to have a cover two meta, um, which is what we, we talked about a little bit this year where you could put outside thirds on like Big Nickel over G, for example. I think Big Nickel over G, I just put a big time ebook out on it this last year at the end. I, I said it was going to be the best defense last year, and it was the best defense, in my opinion, in Madden 22, um, that or 3-3-5 wide. In Madden 23, big nickel over G and 3-3-5 three, three, odd. Those two defenses, to me, are the best two defenses in the game, and those are the two defenses that I'm going to be spending the most time with um, over the course of the summer. So if you want to get all of my eBooks on that, again, a lot of the stuff from Madden 22 that we talked about with 3-3-5 three, three, odd and with big nickel over G – they work in Madden 23, and they work better. So if you want the best defense in the game day one, I would encourage you, Big Nickel Over G ebook. Again, you get all of those ebooks by joining our Patreon page down below. But I'm just telling you, I think, um, just to wrap up this drift logic for Deep Zone, you're going to have two primary metas. They're both going to be cover three. You're going to have the Tampa three where you put the outside thirds out there um, from Big Nickel Over G, or you're going to have the Mike Blitz three, cover three Mabel uh, double Mabel meta. Those are the two biggest things that I think you're going to see. And so you're going to need to learn how to attack the middle of the field whenever they are fanning. You're having a six, um, you know, a three, three level uh, coverage on the left, three level coverage on the right, a middle safety on the top of the roof. And then you've got a user over the middle that is now going to be improved. I think you're going to see um, a lot more of the double, the double Mabel stuff. I really do. Okay. Now, with that in mind, I want to turn to this and kind of explain a little bit more. Zone Defender Locomotion. We've captured a whole new set of defensive back movement animations along with AI support. The defenders in Madden 23 will backpedal, flip their hips, strafe, and look back at the ball more smoothly, more athletically, and more realistically. They, um, and then the route specific break on throw logic, we'll get into in just a second. But the thing that I want to hit on here is with Field Sense. Um, with, with, with field sense logic, Madden has always been on a grid system. This is why you can throw a curl. If you put a flat route and you put a curl on the numbers, 99.9% .9 of the time, the curl will be wide open regardless of what they do because of the grid system, right? And I've taught a little bit about this over the last two years, um, and I'm going to be teaching a lot more about it into my Patreon as we prepare for Madden 23 because we're going to be talking about things that can kind of um, cross apply. They've always been on a zone, a zone uh, grid system. What I want to hit on here is you'll see in Madden 23, the zones, they will jump stuff a lot better. And that's where we get to this route specific break on throw logic. 
We've also added dynamic break times for each type of zone defender when facing specific routes. Zones that are supposed to take away a specific route or areas of field will now break faster. That's why it's very difficult to throw crossers because that third will break on the ball a lot faster. It's very similar um, to the 91 zone, I believe that was in um, Madden 18. That was very popular in Madden 18. You just put a player with 91 zone out there and they would break on stuff that, and, and, and it was very difficult to move the ball. Um, so I would, st if I was you, if I was in your shoes, I would certainly think that it makes a lot of sense to spend some time studying defense from Madden 20 and also studying defense from Madden 18 because I think we're going to get a little bit of a mixture of those two things. Um, man defense is pretty good. Zone defense is by far, in my opinion, the best way to play zone. They've put a lot of emphasis on it. If you think about it, in Madden 22, it was very difficult to play a consistent zone. Madden 23, it's going to be better, okay? Again, that overcorrection year over year. So um, the bottom line here that I want you to uh, – this is a very good point here. One example, this is a hard flat zone aggressively breaking on a route to the flat instead of leveraging deeper routes first. In other words, a deep outside third defender in cover three – breaking faster when a corner route enters our zone. I really believe we're going to see um, cover three is going to be very good at, in some shape and form and is going to have a little bit of a struggle in certain shapes and forms. And it's going to be interesting to take away. But again, if you watch the bunch, um, some of the bombs from bunch year over year, some of the bombs from trips, some of the coverage beaters, you're going to need to know how to beat cover three in Madden 23 because it's going to be the number one defense people are going to run. Just telling you that right now. So the bottom line from a takeaway perspective, you're not, you're, your zones are going to crash down on routes a lot harder. So let me give you an easy example. Let's say that you put a corner route and a flat route and you, if your zone drops, you've got a 10 yard curl flat zone that's coming out. That 10 yard curl flat in Madden 22, if they threw a flat route on a 10 yard curl flat, it was probably going to mean they were going to get about seven to 10 yards, especially if they break a tackle. In Madden 23, they're going to get three to five yards. That's a that's a big difference in terms of the big picture of this. Okay, and then I want to hit on this here. Previously, our deep zone defenders made a little log made little logic adjustments when they were covering the end zone. This resulted in defenders squeezing down on routes, breaking to the interior of the play while disregarding the underneath zone defenders, resulting in sideline and corners of the end zone being left wide open. This year, those outside deep zone defenders again, it's mainly talking about cover three. Okay, it's mainly talking about cover three, maybe even cover four drop. They're going to stay outside, sit on those out breaking or third window crossing routes. They let the route come to them and then they aggressively break on the throw. So what that tells me is you're going to have a little bit more of a difficult time completing your doubles and sale. There's going to be concepts that work year over year. The biggest thing that I want to hit on is you're going to have to, again, with passing, passing the ball is so easy in Madden 23 or in Madden 22. In Madden 23, you're going to actually have to use route combinations to work together and you're going to actually have to make a read because if they put the right zone there, that zone is going to play the route that you want to throw. So you're going to have to learn how to read through progressions. You're going to have to put route combos out there. We teach you how to do all that in the Patreon. So if you want to check that out again, I would really encourage you to do that. Um, DB catch versus SWAT. I'm not going to spend a ton of time on this one. Uh, pass rushing QB contain. Here we go. Um, it, I I really believe you can blitz in Madden 23. Okay, there are a ton of blitzes that work, but I really think and this is why I think Big Nickel over G is going to be one of, is going to be the best defense in Madden 23 or 335 odd. Both of those two, the four man pass rush in Madden 20 freaking in, in Madden 23 is incredible. We're talking about two seconds. Um, until you're getting shedded. Post-ups are going to be really important because the, the I think it's going to be a coverage year, even though there will be pressures that you can get. I'm just saying I think you're going to need to have post-ups um, or something that can help kind of ne negate the pass rush a little bit. The pass rush is insane in this game. It really is. Um, the best way that I have found to counter the heavy pass rush, this is why I think trips tight end is going to be the best offense, which is the offense that I've spent the most time with over the past three years. The reason that trips tight end is going to be so good is because it's primarily a play action based passing offense. You're going to be going out of play action a lot. Play action is going to be really a, an important feature, I think, in Madden 23. Number one, because it's going to slow down the pass rush or it's going to help a little bit with the pass rush. It's also still very effective for picking up blitzes. So play action passing to me is going to be something that really want to kind of 
pick up on and watch watch a little bit more. Um, rush lane integrity. This is more about the quarterback contain. It's going to be a little bit more difficult to escape the pocket. You certainly can escape the pocket, but it's it's going to be more of a year where you're going to want to step up into the pocket, and then if you want to escape, you're going to want to escape up the middle. Okay, that's just my takeaway from the beta. I think again. You're going to need to learn how to throw from the pocket, which is why I really want to encourage you to get rid of escape artists. Pocket presence, route combinations, those are going to be critical for moving the ball effectively on the offensive side of the ball. So you need to start training yourself to do that in Madden 22. The next two months, you can prepare conceptually for Madden 23. That's why I haven't played with escape artists. It's also why um, passing concepts. I've gone back to some more basic curl flat, hitch flat, um, some of those spacing concepts because those are going to be critical for my success in Madden 23. Again, we always talk about begin with the end of the mind. We're trying to get ready for Madden 23, so we've shifted focus and we've said, okay, now Madden 22, for all intents and purposes, is essentially over. So I'm not using escape artists, okay? I'm, I'm, not, I'm not banking on just rocket catching and, and jumping over people, right? That's You can do some of that in Madden 23, but it's nowhere near as effective as it was in Madden 22. The meta changes every single year, okay? The things that are the most effective. And if you want to be a good Madden player, you have to change year over year. I'm not saying that your core concepts change. I'm saying the way that you apply those core concepts have to change, okay? All right, so let's keep going here. Uh, disengage improvements. I do want to hit on that real quick. Um, with with disengage improvements, uh, again, just back to mobile quarterback, um, they're going to disengage faster. They're going to disengage uh, faster for one on one and double team box to pursue the quarterback as they roll out. But what I would also tell you is they're they're going to come in a lot faster. the The line won't hold up very well this year. Um, hope word on the street is they're going to tune that a little bit but it's not going to be a major change okay tuning is not patching okay tuning is just kind of toning it down patching is completely revamping the thing they're not going to change a lot uh from the beta to the to the game we saw that in madden 22. we thought everybody when, when we first played madden 22 beta this is what everybody in the community was saying everybody in the community was saying hey we're we're not going to be able to um bomb every coverage as easily as we could in madden 20 as easily as we could in the beta they're going to they're going to make defense better you're going to be able to stop flat routes you're going to be able to stop seam wheels no it didn't happen it didn't happen they they patched it about a month or two into the game and it still didn't completely fix the problem so just keep that in mind it's going to be a defensive year i think a lot of people are excited i'm personally love defense I'm really excited um, for this game. I'm way more excited for Madden 23. Almost any pro pro player, anybody that plays this game a significant amount would tell you they are way more excited for Madden 23. Um, and they almost to the point that they have a hard time still playing Madden 22 because Madden 22 is not a good game. Okay, and everybody would tell you that. The ratings, the viewership, everything has been, has been uh, brutal. And this is exactly how it went when they went from PS3 to PS4. Uh, Madden 25 next gen was not the best game in the world. It was not. Um, there were a lot of issues with it. Why? Because they've got a new console. They're trying to figure things out. You're seeing the same thing with this right now. So I just want to encourage you. Uh, I would really uh, encourage you to give Madden 23 a shot. I think it's going to be really good. Uh, playbooks. This stuff is kind of um, interesting. They're trying to simplify the game. And honestly, I don't know if that's a good change or not. Uh, my problem with Madden is the biggest issue I have is I like personally to play match coverage. And the more that I've learned about real NFL defenses and real college defenses, most teams are playing more match and they're trying to push us to more spot drop. And I just, I don't think that that's a great plan. Um, I, because again, it doesn't, it, the problem with spot drop coverage every single year, you'll find a route that'll get over every zone. So you have to, that's why match coverage is so important. So anyways, just want to, you know, hit on that. that they're, they're basically streamlining their playbooks. Honestly, that could be a good change. We'll, we'll yet to see it. I just think they need to put, especially on the defense side of the ball, if they really want to make a change on defense, they need to, to put more match concepts in the game. 
because that's what most people or uh, most te teams nowadays are running. Um, let's take a look here real quick on this, this paragraph. Uh, to better tie in with our pass coverage and defensive alignment improvements, we refine the plays available in defensive sets uh, to help ensure they're able to function properly when matched against common offensive looks. Uh, I'm not quite sure how to explain this. Um, I'm just, the, the biggest thing is here, this example, um, it's just, it's gonna, it, it's more of an alignment issue. Um, you're gonna get like, you know, it, it's gonna change, it's gonna change. They're gonna have certain coverages that are tailored to certain formations. Again, I wouldn't overread into this. This is mainly more for the casual player. And in my opinion, it's a little bit more for, um, you know, kind of the auto flip alignment, you know, run defense, run fits. It, the, the basic bare bones of the game is going to play a lot better on defense. That's the biggest thing I would read into that. Um, you know, it, 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 it is what it is. Um, I think it's a good change. Um, let's see here. Offensive side of the ball. Um, I'm not, not, not too much, not too much on that really. Um, the passing system, they, they, they definitely have been adding, um, a lot of, let me, let me hit on this field sense real quick. Um, they've been putting a lot into the game about passing, uh, you know, having total control over your passing. I wouldn't read too much into that from what everyone that I've talked to, anyone with any skill would tell you it's not. There's certain little things that you can do a little differently, but it's not necessarily like a major change. Um, spin moves are no longer the best move in the game, so you're going to want to learn how to do something other than that. My advice would be, um, I think arm bar is going to be good. Uh, juking. St stiff arm to me is probably going to be stiff. Arm, it's going to be a stiff arm and trucking year. That's just my read on it. Um, it could be a juke year, but um, there's always one move that's more effective than every move, and we let you know that pretty early on in the season. Um, field sense. They're basically trying to, again, get it off of a grid system, but they're not going to be able to. It's, it's very difficult to do that. Um, but that's basically the beta. Um, some of my takeaways. Here's the passing deal. Um, this passing thing, it, it's okay. It's free-form passing. I like, you can throw back shoulder throws, which we should have had this in the game a lot, a lot sooner. Um, you know, NFL has been throwing back shoulder throws for a long time. Uh, 360 cuts gives players precise control to trigger hard cuts at any point while running the ball. Again, I want to just hit on this. This is more back to the user. You're going to see that it's a lot easier to move with your user, whether it be your running back, whether it be your defender. You're going to have a little bit better time with that. So, But that's pretty much the biggest thing. Um, I think you're going to... I think you're going to find that this is a lot more fun than Madden 22 and it's going to be a lot better of a game uh, just kind of from what I've been reading, what I've been playing, what I've been studying, what I've been watching. Um, this is going to be a lot more fun. The The thing you're going to have to be prepared for is it is going to be a significant difference from Madden 22 to Madden 23. You're not just going to be able to run the same stuff. You're going to, there's going to be some similarities. You'll still see bunch. You'll still see bunch tied in. But the routes they're going to use are going to be different. Okay, so uh, just keep that in mind. Keep hitting on the foundation. Get back to basics. That's band twenty three beta. We'll have more stuff as we find more stuff out. If you want to learn um, all of my stuff, again, I've got um, two back to foundation uh, foundational ebooks that I think everybody should get, and. It's only ten dollars to sign up for the Patreon. By signing up for the Patreon, you get everything. So these two eBooks would be included in that, and they're gonna walk you through step by step how do you actually build a offense and defense any year of Madden, and what are the key things you need to pay attention to. Thanks for watching the video, and we'll see you later.